Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you and today we are going to talk about the Z10, uh, no, not the Z10, but what is happening with my Z10 after 4000 kilometers and why I'm doing this video because you guys are always asking me on private message or on my videos, should I purchase the Z10 in 2010? 2020 and in this case I have to say to you guys yes and no maybe yes or definitely not explaining to you things that you should be aware first of all they discontinue this wheel so it's more and more difficult to purchase the Z10 so if you want a wheel that is unique and have a very unique way to ride definitely just run and pick one because you're not going to have a lot of options and a lot of opportunities but maybe you should not purchase this one because it continues to be expensive and is more and more difficult to put your hands on a z10 but also on spare parts if something goes wrong with your z10 maybe you get stuck and you will have to stay without your z10 forever what i'm saying with this is if you are thinking to purchase a z10 as your main wheel definitely don't buy the z10 if you purchase or if you want to purchase the Z10 as an extra wheel to have on your collection and you are going to take care and when I'm saying take care is really use it like if it was an old car, a classic car, definitely purchase the Z10 because it's a very very funny wheel. If you are someone that you don't like the idea to open your wheel, repair by yourself, don't purchase the Z10, it's the worst wheel that you can purchase. It's really complicated just to swap a motherboard because you need the serial number and stuff. It's, it's really, really complicated. But this is an issue that I'm having at the moment that will happen to you sooner or later. After 3,500, 4,000, 5,000 kilometers, you're going to have serious issues with your bearings. And that will happen basically with everything, but the way that they construct the Z10, it's almost impossible to repair by yourself without having some help. So basically explaining to you, at my side here, I have the top part of your motor that you have to remove it to have access, obviously. And until here, it's okay. I have the access to the bearing on the other side. And why this happened quite easily on the Z10 is because the bearing is completely exposed. The only thing that you have on top is this small ring that it goes on top, but you have, you can hear, you have a lot of play. So the dust during the time that you are using is going to infiltrate on your bearing. And that's why after 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 kilometers is gone, depending on how you ride. So if you just ride in good conditions that it was not my case i used this wheel in the middle of the mud rain winter snow so all the time i was using this wheel when you will have to repair this wheel prepare to buy new screws because in my case i get 20 screws damages i'm thinking to just purchase steel screws for everything so i don't have to think about new screws that will get stuck on the wheel and it's more difficult to just get access and if something goes wrong with that screw and you are not able to unscrew that screw i don't know what to do next okay so just to point it out also if you have to open one time you should buy all new screws to your 9 bot z10 but what is the big problem and why i'm stuck so basically in opposite of other models you just have one of the sides that you can open the other side you just can reach if you remove the motor but the problem is around your motor you have these strong magnets so to try to pull out this motor is basically impossible so the only thing that you, i can do at this point is visit a friend of mine that have a car garage and hopefully is a portuguese person and have a different mentality than here in the uk and he said yeah come on here and we'll see what we can do but i can't promise you anything so I hope that I'll be able to remove this motor to reach the bearing that is underneath. Otherwise, yeah, my Z10 is just a bunch of pieces. And to try to repair it, I will have to buy a new motor. And if that motor is completely sealed, because if they just send me the motor like this and I'm not able to remove this one, yeah, I'm stuck once again. I will not be able to reach there. 
If you are thinking to purchase a wheel, not the Z10, but other wheels, I have you covered. Even if you live in Europe or USA, you have some links on the description with some discounts. So feel free to use them and in that way you are helping this channel. So I hope that you are having a great day. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.